watching Step TV, the place to get inspiration and practical advice to help you build a business that makes you happy. Today is my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! <laughs> Can you guess how old I am? <laughs> Just I'm plus one, leave it like that. <laughs> Alright, so in today's episode of Step TV, I'm going to be telling you the difference between having a website and a Facebook page. Somebody sent me a message asking that what's the difference if I have a Facebook page, do I still need to have a website? What's the difference? So this is an amazing question, and I'm going to answer it using an analogy. Um, I remember when I, um, the first time I left home and I had to um, rent an apartment for myself, a dad in NYSC, and so I got them. Um, I was looking for houses and I finally found a house that I liked. I paid for um, I paid house rent and then the landlord gave me one long list of things that I had to abide by, rules and regulations if you live in my house. These are the things that you must do. <laughs> so having um excuse me, being on Facebook is just like being a tenant in somebody's house. It's very different from having your own house and being the landlord of your own house. If you have a website, you are the landlord of your website. It's your property and do what you want there. But when you are on Facebook, you are a tenant. You do what Facebook tells you to do. So to, to, to an extent, you're not as free as you think you are. I remember that on that list that I not gave me. I could not come back after 10 o'clock. Um, nobody could come and sleep over in my house. I could not throw party. I could not... A long list of ridiculous, very funny things. But, you know, just, it was just one year where I said, I'm so new this time. Anything wanted to do, let me just find a place to put my head down. But you know, if, if that was my house where I was living and you give me all these rules and regulations, you know, it, it, it is, um, it's not, um, it's not funny at all. But this was then where I see, it was just one year. My landlord was my, landlord was my neighbor, next door. You'd be looking at the window to see what is, what is she doing? What is she doing? If you make any mistake like this, you'll just go and bring out that sheet of paper that you signed. I say, see, look at this, look at this. You sign it here that you will not do all these things. You know, when you go on Facebook and all those, Social media sites. You sign up the terms and conditions. You to, a, to and maybe we don't we don't always read all those all those tiny points. But there are certain terms and conditions that we have to abide by. On Facebook, for example, even like if you have up to one million fans or one million one thousands of likes, when you post something on Facebook, not everybody who is your fan on Facebook can see it. So because and the one thing I love about it, so it's a fifty pay for adverts, and and the more you and the more and money you spend, that's the more people who will see your advice. So you still need to um, pay for people to see what you have to offer. But on your website, anybody who comes to your website can see anything that you have to offer. So never ever say that, ah, because I have a Facebook page or Instagram page or Twitter page, I don't need a website. There are so many that they are very different. They all have their purpose. Another reason again is that um, the way Facebook is designed, is you're limited. You can't, you can't do a lot of things. But on your website, you can explain what kind of information you want, how you want it. You can um, relate to people how you want it. Anything, you can do a lot on your website. But on Facebook, you are, you are limited by the constraints of what they can be able to you. So I hope you like this video. I hope that I was able to explain it um, very well. If you have any other questions, please send right to me below in the comments and I'll answer it in one of these videos. Thank you so much for... Um, for watching, and I'm off to <laughs> I'm off to celebrate my birthday. I just want a small, very nice chill down um, party. Just um, I'll just hang out with my friends. No, not in any plans, plenty of issues. Just something small, and I will <laughs> dance away. That's that's the way. That's into the new year for me. So thank you. If you have any birthday wishes for me, please send it to me. I will appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you same place, same time on Step TV next week. And if this is your first time watching Step TV, please subscribe. We have amazing tips that you can um, that um, to help you build your business using online marketing. And we give it only to people who subscribe to our, um, our emails. So subscribe, you will see several boxes below this video by the right on top of this video. Subscribe, subscribe, because I've been gifts. In fact, I should do have a many gifts. Get people to subscribe to my website. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So see you. Bye.